I'm a daily wearer of historical fashion and I'm also a YouTuber. I decided that I would like to participate in the slowest fashion possible, literally with a needle and thread. It doesn't get any slower than that. I do dress like this every single day. This is my style all the time. I'm really excited though to see how I look in modern fashion. It's been so long since I've worn it. I'm being transformed into a Dua Lipa inspired look. I think the look is actually made for Vassi. I think the look is going to look really good on her. So I'm curious to see what will happen and I'm curious to see how my friend is going to react as well because she's never seen me wear modern clothing before. So what do you think? So I've been sewing for about two and a half years and these are some things that I've currently been working on, some things I've been mending. This is an item I finished maybe like four months ago and it's based off of one of the antiques in my collection. This is a late Victorian cape and it took me probably about 40 or 50 hours to hand sew. So I started wearing historical fashion three to four years ago and about two and a half years ago I started sewing my own clothing. I got really interested a long time ago in where my food came from, so I also wanted to understand where my clothing came from. And also my love for art, culture, and history was a big factor as well, because I guess I could have chosen slow fashion in a modern sense. I used to wear a lot of vintage and thrifted clothing, for example, and I tended to lean towards more Victorian-esque silhouettes. So it was always something that I found to be very aesthetically pleasing. I tend to wear a lot more British working class fashion these days, so centered between the 1740s to the 1890s mainly. I have an antique clothing collection that I keep for study and not for wearing, so I keep everything in archival boxes. So this piece is the original of what I made that cape off of. People tend to think that black was mourning only, but actually black was a very stylish color, just like it is for people today. We just try and recreate garments as close to the originals as we possibly can based off of whatever we're able to research. So this dress that I'm wearing, I hand stitched it myself and it's an 1860s style wrapper dress. It would have been worn by all classes of people. And this wrap here is called a Sontag and it was knitted by one of my friends as well as my hairnet, which was also knitted by my friend. So today I'm going from historical dress to pop princess. I think that Dua Lipa and I have some like similar features. So that's part of why I was so open to being transformed into her look. I feel excited about the transformation today and I kind of have no idea what to expect. <laughs> wow, this is totally different. <laughs> it does definitely make me think of Dooley because she wears this neon green a lot. So I think that that's very much her vibe. Very cool. This is, it's interesting because this is something I probably would have never chosen for myself when I did wear modern clothes, but I think it'll be fun to wear something different that I've never worn before. I think I'm the most nervous about showing more skin than I usually do because normally I'm dressed from neck to ankles, um, except maybe in 18th century clothing, it's a, a bit lower and your, your boobs start to stick out a bit more. Hey! Hi! How are you doing? I'm Lucy. I'm Vossi. Nice to meet you. Nice Come to meet you. Yeah, I think it's going to be such a stark contrast to her current look, yeah. Um, something completely out of her comfort zone. Right, come on. Okay. Take a seat, let's get started. Okay. Right, I think we might have to take this mirror down though. I'm not nervous, I'm actually really excited. Yeah. Stop, let's take it everything off and okay. starting from scratch, okay? Do you have any like historical makeup icons that you look to for inspiration? I really like looking at 18th and 19th century portraits because the use of blush is usually really interesting. I think the look is actually made for Vassi. I think the skin tone um, complements like the colours that we're going to use and I think she's got really nice features. So what tends to be the public's um, reaction to your sense of dress? Generally people are pretty nice about it. I would say online it's maybe a different story. And I've had some kind of scary experiences in fact. And it's quite sad to me that people can't just let others be happy and enjoy what they're doing. People often think that I believe that all women should be modest and that's the opposite. I actually think that every gender should wear whatever they want to wear. Right, so the makeup looks complete. So if you go put on your outfit and then we'll do the hair. So, who are you revealing your look to later? I'm going to be revealing it to my friend Sam and she's never seen me wear modern clothing before so it's going to be very, very interesting to see what her reactions have been. 
So the makeovers already. Um, I'm just gonna pack away and then we'll do the grand reveal. Vassie, how are you feeling about seeing yourself? I'm actually feeling quite calm and excited about it. One, two, three. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like a doll, if that makes sense. You look like a doll. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and what aspects do you like the most? I like the jacket, I think. And I think like jeans never really work on me, so it's not something I normally choose for myself, but I think for Dua Lipa's look, it makes perfect sense because this is totally her style. I do like it. I think that it really would suit someone that has a sense of style and that they would really enjoy wearing it. <laughs> I guess because my style is historical for me, it's just kind of odd feeling. I like the eye makeup too, it's really cool. I, the color suits you, I Thank feel. You. I yeah, I love this color. I think it's a great color. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm feeling really excited to reveal the look to Sam, and I can't wait to see what she's going to say about it. I would describe Vasi's look as historical fashion, um, but it's much more than that. It took me a while to get to know this, but it's actually more of a way of being in the world. and slowing down and connecting with things. I'm really excited to see Vasi's new look, but also a bit nervous. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> do I look like a different person? You do, oh my gosh. I would not recognize you on the street at all. That's so funny. Whoa, that's insane. <laughs> it doesn't look like you at all. How does yeah. it feel? Does it feel weird? I was saying it feels like I'm in a different person's body. It's beautiful, but I don't think I'd like you to keep any of it. I like the eye makeup, but I don't know how I would mix it into mm. my historical fashion. Yeah, it's very bold. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if you could like merge that together. Is this how you were dressed when you were younger? No. <laughs> No, definitely not. <laughs> Does it feel more freeing not wearing all of the layers? Um, no, it actually feels hotter. And I find that I feel a lot more comfortable with all the layers of historical fashion, mm. just because of uh, all the breathable fabrics and everything. It feels like I'm in someone else's body and like as if I'm kind of playing a different person for a day rather than it being me, but I'm ready to eventually go back to being me. I thought that Sam's reaction was kind of exactly how I maybe expected it to be, is that she wants me to be who I am rather, and, and this definitely isn't me. I thought it was a really fun experience, and I would definitely do it again. I think that it's important that we sometimes step out of our comfort zones and do something a little bit different. I think sometimes I actually have these thoughts like, oh, maybe I should just wear modern clothes again because then society will accept me more and I'll have to deal with a lot less all the time. But I actually realized that all of it's worth it for me because I feel so much more connected to what I'm wearing than if I'm wearing something like this.